because I'm pretty sure that a few people will click on the video with that title <laughs> and that thumbnail. I'm going to get right into it. You add mass to the cone. You make the cone heavier. And what that does is it drives down the resonant frequency of the cone. And that means that it can play lower, deeper bass. However, there's a trade-off. When you do that, you reduce the sensitivity. You'll need more power to get the same output. I used this woofer as an example. I actually have four of these. I'm going to be making new speakers with them. So I, I brought it out here to test and I thought it'd be interesting to do that just to see what the effect would be. And I added 14 grams to the cone and I tested it and I did some simulations on the size and response of the box. And that's basically what you're looking at here. This first one is the woofer in stock condition with no weight added. And the second one is with the 14 grams added to the cone. I kind of arrived on that number through trial and error. I tried several different weights and that's another balancing act or trade-off. You know, you can drive it down further, but you're gonna, you know, require a lot more power. The heavier the cone is, the less uh, responsive it will be to the power. Um, the thing about power these days though, is it's pretty cheap. You can get really powerful amplifiers to drive it. So it can work out in the end. It depends upon what you're looking for though. In my case, I decided not to add the mass and uh, what I'm gonna be using this for because it works in the stock condition for what I needed to do. Now it didn't originally, I gotta explain what these speakers are. I bought these about 10 years ago and they were brand new at the time, never used. And they've been with me ever since, but never used. I never used them. So I brought this out, I tested it and I got way yeah you know, way different results than what i was looking for actually so i brought it in and i broke it in and what you what that means is that you run it with a low frequency for about an hour or two i ran it for two hours at 30 hertz you know making the cone move up and down and that break-in period is important for a woofer because it loosens the suspension up um a brand new woofer with you know is not going to be as loose. It's like anything else that's mechanical. You know, you got a drawer that you just put in, it's a little bit tight. You use it a few times, you know, in two months it's, it's smooth as silk type thing. Same thing with woofers. They break in and they loosen up and it gets to a point where they'll stay basically for the rest of their lifetime. So I did that and I brought it back out and I tested it again. And I got the results that I was actually expecting and looking for. And the way I'm going to be using these woofers, I'm going to be using all four in two speakers. I'm going to be putting two in each box, except I'm going to be using them in an isobaric uh, configuration is what it's called, where two woofers are put together in the box, one behind the other. Uh, you, you may have seen this before with it's called clamshell where they put them face to face and you actually have the back of the woofer sticking out. That's not a look that I, I like or, or I'm going for. I want something that actually looks like a speaker. So I'm going to be mounting them in line with each other. And the benefit of an isobaric arrangement is that well, one thing about this, this woofer is it needs a big box. Even that one that I showed you, that was for two woofers. It would need a 50 liter box. You can get away with a smaller box with a, a sealed speaker. For a vented speaker, you need something bigger. And in stock condition, you need something close to 300 liters for a single driver. I designed it with two in that isobaric arrangement so that the box volume could be 100 liters, which is well within what I'm looking for. And you can see the response goes way down below the other two with an F3. And what F3 is, where 
the frequency response drops by three decibels on the lower end, 20 hertz. So that's really good from 12 inch woofers. So I guess with me talking about the speakers and showing a little bit of the design, this is the first official video in the build series of my new speakers, my new big speakers, my new big speakers that will be in two pieces. <laughs> I learned my lesson on big speakers. I want to have them so that they're manageable. I want big speakers, but I figure in two pieces they'll work better. So that's what I'm going to be working on first is the lower section, the woofer section. I guess you could really call it the subwoofer section because these are really only going to be operating from around 80 hertz and down. So they are, in fact, the subwoofer. And I took the time to draw this up and sketch up fairly detailed and I kind of deconstructed it in these images right here. You can see that the upper section is like a regular full range speaker. It's actually tuned down to 36 hertz, has a eight inch woofer in it. And here you can see how the woofers are put in the box. So it's gonna be interesting and I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be using the rest of the plywood that I bought uh, when I made the acoustic panels to build these with. I figure that's a good use for that plywood. It's not, you know, great plywood, but it's nice and, and flat and smooth. I'm going to probably be veneering these speakers or I may paint them. It depends. All right, I'll have to wait and see how that goes. But either way, um, th that plywood will work great. It's three quarters of an inch. That's as thick as I'm going to make these boxes. Uh, the upper one, I should talk a little bit about the upper one. Like I said, eight inch woofer. Uh, it's actually divided in two, that uh, upper box. The eight inch woofer only needs around 30 liters to operate and um, the mid-range above and the tweeter will be in that other like the top section which will be completely closed from the place where that woofer is that's also vented a smaller vent of course and that'll fire out the back of that uh, upper section 